I want to get into this um, psychobabble. I don't have any scripture. I don't want to pull any scripture for what this content is going to illustrate. The B dub is the donkey of the day. So I'm going to let this play and I'm going to give a little bit of commentary. And then we'll go in and get out of here. Here we go. Black women are availing ourselves to all of the options that are hard work and. Circumstances currently afford us. And that means that single motherhood by choice is going to be an option that more and more black women consider and even exercise. Let's get into it. That do not serve us feelings about that can go ahead and start to process right now. Because black women that have the privilege to embark upon this expensive and oftentimes lengthy process will increasingly decide to forego marriages and partnerships that do not serve us and that are not in our best interests. And now that bypassing those insufficient relationships does not have to come at the expense of motherhood, well, frankly, it's a whole new world. A world in which black women are no longer subject to the desperation of being chose. Because now we get to do the choosing. And as we choose, we do have to contend with the reality of a dismally small supply of black sperm. but not the sperm. So let's talk about the black, the black female donkey of the day, preferring the sperm over the man. So the sperm is valuable, but us men are not valued by these donkeys of the day, so-called black women. Let's let the donkey continue. Because most black women on this journey, we want to create children that look like us and that look like our families. And that means we want black sperm. So our family is what the black woman hates. Hates the black family. She hates starting the black family. She hates what it takes for her to perform for the black family. So... The single motherhood is the modern day black woman's legacy. And who's sponsoring her legacy? Well, white America, the Edomites are. Let's let the donkey continue. And as we heard from Reese Brooks, it's the definition of slim pickings. And sometimes that means compromising on this aspect of your journey. as single mothers on their own without the contributions of the men being physically there and the physical work it takes to have a child or to get impregnated by a man. The black, so-called modern-day black woman is bypassing the whole process of meeting a man and coming to an agreement and starting a family and creating a family with the so-called black man. Let's let these women continue because I did a story on this. Modern day black women don't go to college to secure a husband or secure a family. They go and obtain degrees so that they can further their independence and their independence does not mean they're independent of a job. They're independent of a man's covering. Okay. A man's 
um, provision, problem solving, procreation, okay, and his pr uh, provision, okay, provision, problem solving, um, procreation, So it's interesting to see these women. I know I missed one, but I'm good. I, I gotta stick to what I'm saying. Uh, these uh, modern day black women are going above and beyond to be on their own. So when we see these communities of black women and children without men, this donkey of the day, her narrative is nine times out of 10, the reason why these women do not have men present um, in these single households. So let's let the donkey continue. Now I am extremely fortunate that I was able to secure two vials of black sperm from California Cryobank. When I now she has the money to be able to afford this. I believe she was on the Breakfast Club or one of these uh, podcasts expressing her independence and expressing her financial advantage of um, being able to purchase semen um, at one of these cryogenics uh, sperm banks. So let's let the donkey finish. Please check out Reproductive Village. It's a new black owned cryobank and it's designed to help with this shortage of black sperm. It's set to open its doors in deep. First of all, I want to give a round of applause to the brothers who do not contribute their sperm to the sperm banks for these B-dubs to bypass marriage and to bypass uh, men and husbands in order to inject themselves with uh, a man's seed. Because the man, uh, his seed gives the divinity to the birth okay it gives it gives the spark of life to the birth all these women claiming they don't need a man and da 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 da, da. i am not going to contribute to the b-dub having children without men so big ups to the brothers that don't contribute their sperm to the banks so these b-dubs can have an advantage over destroying another portion of the black family okay Let's let the donkey continue. See you later this year. And it will also have drop-off locations in Atlanta and Houston, Texas. And number two, be proactive. I say go ahead and start looking right now for desirable black sperm. You register with all four of the big cryo banks, and this includes California Cryo Bank, which I used, Seattle Sperm Bank, Fairfax Cryo Bank, and Zytex. Then you can scan the current options for black sperm. And if you see some sperm that you like, I suggest go ahead and buy at least two vials right now. I love to hear the school of thought that modern day black women were, were taught to bypass the man by any means and by all means. When we say that the black woman is, a, is the, um, the enemy of the state, it's, uh, it's true. Uh, no longer are the um, rumors of these uh, B dubs being the um, being problematic to the black family and destroying, helping destroy the integrity of the um, the so-called black union. Okay, these women are actively engaging in terrorism, um, and um, I'm not seeing a lot of pushback. Of course, she cut off her comments. Um, she has over 5,000 views, and uh, last time I checked, it was only 55 likes. So where are all of these? Where's all of the, um, the, the followers of this, um, this train of single motherhood that's doomed? Okay, where are they? need ...files right now. Even if you do not intend to use them anytime soon, trust me, it's better to have them than to be without them when the time comes. And listen, if you never need... It's better to be with sperm than without sperm so that you can have them if you need them. And when you want to use them, they'll be available. This is, this is the mind of a donkey. Um, the modern-day black woman, 
she goes above and beyond to not um, have um, the man present, okay? It's a choice. Everything today is a choice. Nothing is by force. The society and so-called America, every aspect of behavior is a choice. Being homosexual is a choice. Being a single mother is a choice. Without the with the with, with, with the exception of widows. Okay. I'm not even gonna get into the scripture about these modern day B does because they're not being biblical. Okay, they're fulfilling prophecy, but I don't even want to pull no scripture for these B doves because they're not worth the scripture. These women are just worth 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 the edification and the exposure. Okay. Nothing divine about these women, okay? Except for they're fulfilling the prophecy of playing their role in the destruction, okay? They get this blueprint from the so-called Edomites, the white uh, pe uh, man, the white people, okay? They value the sperm, but they do not value the man, okay? Let's let the donkey continue. For whatever reason. What a wonderful gift to give to a friend or a sorority sister in need. And all talks about polygyny and the permission that the uh, so-called black Latino and Native Indian has to deal with multiple women all of a sudden passing on sperm is a threat but the black woman wants to gift sperm to other women bonkers let's go and let's and, and, and on another note these women claim that they can't get a man but they continue to get pregnant and now the black the modern day black woman, so-called black woman, she wants to further her legacy and to have access to sperm and have sperm readily available for any woman who wants to be without a man or a father for the children. You know, I, I, I think somewhere along the future, there's gonna be a group of investors who are going to invest in this legacy of this modern day B dub to not have a father and to not have a husband and to bypass marriage and all of these necessary divinities to establish the black family. Let's let the donkey continue. So most of those banks they allow you to resell the sperm back to the bank itself. Listen, I know that many are going to question or even indict the decision that I and many other black women are making to become single mothers by choice. Single mothers by choice. Congratulations to you, B-dubs. No one, um, no one like myself is going to attempt to address a stoppage. I say keep going further yourselves into whatever direction you're going. If modern day Amer if modern day whites want to support that, then there then there it goes. Whoever, whatever groups of women, because I think the, the black the modern day black woman, she's the face of the the Black Lives Matter movement. She's the face of the homosexual movement. Now she's the face of single motherhood. Like I said, modern day B dubs do a great job at not being great. Okay, let's let the donkey continue. But I, like the women you heard from today, go by the creed of no regrets. I have, and many black women have, too much love, too many resources, and too rich of a community not to share these gifts with children of our own. See that? So resources for the black woman is not for the family, it's not for the black man to benefit off of. That degree, making 80,000, 100,000, is useless when a woman, a so-called black woman, wants to be a wife. She doesn't want to contribute to her relationship. She only wants to make $100,000 when she's a single mother, okay? 
So it's 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 written on the wall, okay, how these modern day black women choose to be single mothers. All of these Captain Savems and all of these simps who want to defend and protect these modern day black women, go for it. I suggest modern day black women hire security if they need all this protecting. The protection of a woman is not worth a man, um, not worth a man's um, time and not worth a man's energy. Only people protecting these modern day black women are their children, okay, and other black women's children. Okay, so the black modern day black woman and her children are at liberty to uh, go in whatever direction they want to go in. Um, the future is going to be crazy. I'm not in the mood to hear any more protecting the black woman and none of this stuff. Everything the black woman does is a choice. Everything. And you men need to decide to go above and beyond these uh, modern day black women. Let's let the donkey continue. Children that will one day, no doubt, enrich and contribute to the next generation of black America. So the modern day black woman and her children are the face of the black communities. Okay, anyone who um, subscribes to this content, uh, like and share, spread this um, edification. It's important for the um, for um, any um, confused um, so-called Latino, Native Indian, or so-called Black that's confused about why um, the Black woman is always the target of criticism, because it's time for her to be for her to finally be examined. And it's time for her, um, for her footsteps to be tracked. Okay, uh, we can follow the money if we want to know what America's doing, and we can follow um, follow the trends if you want to know what these modern day black women do. Modern day black women, in my personal opinion, do not contribute anything to the world. They labor at their own expense, and everything that they decide to do does not benefit nobody but themselves I had a massage the other day the Asian woman uh, she brings something to the table modern day women don't bring any pleasantries to the table uh, modern day black women don't bring, bring any pleasantries to the table if it's not about um, furthering, uh, furthering yourselves into abominable um, natures and uh, actions um, I just want to give this um, donkey, the donkey of the day. I couldn't let this go because she is the mascot from what I see. Um, aside from the Vivica Foxes and uh, the Lisa Rays in them, this um, donkey here seems to be the mascot for um, single motherhood. And she's proud and she can actually afford to be a single mother. So I just wanted to highlight this. And um, I don't know who's going to who's going to outdo her. Um, there are some pretty disgusting, um, um, you know, females out there that are a little more disgusting than her, maybe if, and, and their toxicity. But uh, she seems to be more uh, grounded in this uh, behavior uh, of being a single mother. So she wants to champion it. And um, I have a daughter, but I wouldn't encourage these, um, my daughter to be like these uh, donkeys. So again, this is for edification. This is not hate. Shalom.